This feels really, I don't know, yeah, brown and, you know, <laughs> brown. If you Google Norwegian food, you will find a lot of this. And this is probably why the Norwegians are quite tall because they're eating very like dense, nutrient-filled foods. <laughs> For me, I just think there's more to it than this. That's why we invited three bloggers to come on a road trip through Norway in search of some of our best producers to taste our most honest and sustainable food and hopefully prove the internet wrong. So my name is Benjamina and I am a baker, um, food stylist and recipe writer in the UK. I think growing up in a city like London, you can often feel quite detached from where your food comes from. You just go to any supermarket, any corner shop. So I think coming here, coming to Norway and meeting farmers firsthand and meeting producers firsthand and seeing you know, the work they put in and the effort they put in and the passion that they have, I think will just kind of bridge that gap and I think that makes, that will make me care that bit more. Sweet. So we are, um, we're on a farm in Fondrem, I think that's how you say it, um, where we're gonna meet a producer who has some incredible cows and makes really good quality dairy products. Such a cute little farm. I love it. Good Hello morning. There. Morning. Welcome to my farm. I'm John Ferris. I'm Monica. Nice to meet Tinga. you. Nice to have you here. Thank you. And you're the one that's going to bake cake? Or? No, I'm she is. <laughs> yeah. We have uh, only historical breeds, which is, uh, they are quite different from the cows, which is more industrial okay. uh, today, so they don't milk that much, so their produce is more rich. Okay. So, and also, of course, all our products are unpasteurized. Okay. So then you get much more of the flavor. flavor. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So they're over there, so we're going to go and fetch them inside. So oh, I hear that. Oh. Let's do it. Hop inside. Kusha! <laughs> Yara! They are so cute. One of them is a little bit horny. No, no, you don't have to run. <laughs> they know exactly where to go. So, so, so. so how can you milk them without making them feel uncomfortable and so you also don't get kicked <laughs> in the face? Oh my god. You wanna try? Okay. Close and then it fills up and then squeeze. Oh. <laughs> it's not coming out. <laughs> I'm not getting any milk. <laughs> oh, well done. That is harder than it looks. Cheers. Oh, yeah. it's sweet. It's fresh. It is, yeah. It's so different to like having regular milk. It's so weird. Delicious. Yeah, it's so like, <laughs> I'm so cow. trying to get over how and literally, not just on the table, like cow to my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. What is that? <laughs> oh my gosh, they're still warm. It's warm, yeah. They are warm eggs. Let's get cracking. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm gonna finish milking. <laughs> I'm about to make a cake and it's using all the dairy products from the farm which is really really cool so it's going to taste it's going to taste fresh it's going to taste a little bit different so I'm excited to see the effect that that has on the baking. Now we're going to make make some uh, milk for Benjamina. Uh, so for, for the cake. So this is uh, from Dropra. Okay. Dotty. So here, can you That's bring this up? Absolutely. Thank you. So I'm just starting with the butter in the bowl and then I'm going to cream that together with the sugar. They're good ones. I'm gonna pour about half of that in. It's four days old cream, and we're gonna make butter with it. Amazing. So this is uh, the old school butter churn. Oh wow! So if we were going to make it the old way, we would do it in that one. This is the easy way of making butter today. Oh, it's hot. Oh wow. It's to get out all the buttermilk. You can have some on the bread now. <laughs> That's so good. Um, Do you like it? Do you enjoy this? Absolutely. You see how 
our really small produce yeah. can make an impact yeah, on, on, on how to make food for the future. Yeah. Because I really mean that this kind of food is a hell of a lot more sustainable that, than what Definitely. most people is doing. Dottie's cake. Dottie's cake. Dottie's cake. <laughs> <laughs> it's got Dottie's milk, it's got some fresh butter in there, mm. and it's got the mm. eggs from the chickens as well. Toast for you. <laughs> Dottie's. Dottie's. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Thank you so much for having Thank us. You. Thank you for coming. Feast. Today, I think, was my favourite day. Um, just coming and meeting John Frederick and seeing uh, how much he loves his cows, how happy they are, um, and trying like the different milks and how each cow's milk tastes so different. You know, I actually remember you asking me when you showed me the iPad of all the pictures of what actually Norway really resembles and signifies and all of that and reflects on the internet. Um, it is far from it. It's like you just taste the flavors from the surroundings, everything's natural. It's kind of made me almost slow down a little bit and appreciate the, the energy and the time that it takes to rear an animal and, and, and produce products from it. I just, you know, definitely want to encourage more people to actually come over here and, and explore and experience it because I think you, you realise that if you just scratch the surface, you're almost like missing out on the, on the actual local culture.